One of the most common questions I get from women who are seeking clitoris reduction is, will it come back? This is especially important because a lot of women who have this problem, it's been caused by the fact that they're on testosterone. Testosterone makes them feel great and many women don't want to come off it, but the concern is if they continue their testosterone, is the clitoris going to grow back? In this video, I'm gonna answer that question. Hello, my name is Dr. Slave Gallagher. I'm a plastic and reconstructive surgeon based here in Miami, Florida. And one of my specialities over the past few years has become nerve sparing clitoris reduction. There are many reasons women may seek this out. Some people are born with the condition of clitoromegaly. Some people develop it after certain medications, which is more common. And basically what we do in this procedure is reduce the size of the clitoris permanently. And a common concern is, will it grow back if the patient continues to take testosterone, for example, which is often the culprit? Now, the important thing to understand is the specific procedure you are getting, because unfortunately, a lot of women with this procedure will first get either a clitoral hood reduction or a labiaplasty, which actually can make the condition a little bit worse. How you know that you have true what we call clitoromegaly is, first of all, at rest, the clitoris looks too big, the head of the clitoris looks too big. And one thing that's always a giveaway is that when the patient gets aroused, it will grow a lot more and a lot of patients will describe to me that when they look down there, it looks like a small penis. If this sounds familiar, clitoromegaly or an enlarged clitoris may be your issue. Of course, in some people, this will not bother them at all, but in many, it does. They don't like how it looks and it can cause irritation um, in clothes. And for that reason, they will seek out help from someone like me. In about half of patients who come to see me, they've already had a clitoral hood reduction or labiaplasty or even multiple ones of those. So usually by the time they're having surgery with me, the right surgical procedure is a true nerve sparing clitoral reduction. And what we're doing in this procedure is going in and removing almost all of the erectile tissue. The clitoris, like the penis, has erectile tissue. And typically when a patient has been on anabolic steroids or testosterone, or for whatever reason, metabolic or genetic, the tissue has grown. It's usually this erectile tissue that has grown. And like I said, this is not essential to have this in the clitoris. So we can remove almost all of it that is on the outside of the body. So how we do this is a very delicate two to three hour procedure under magnification. And basically what we're doing is preserving the nerves to the head of the clitoris and lifting them back off this erectile tissue and then removing it. And then it's kind of like origami. We put the anatomy all back in its correct position. And in many cases, the head of the clitoris itself will be reduced down. And many times we have to combine in a labiaplasty as well. But the beauty of this procedure is we are preserving those essential nerves so orgasm and erogenous sensation should be preserved. So to get back to the answer to the original question, will it grow back? This I have never seen. And that is because like I mentioned, we're removing almost all of that erectile tissue and we're taking it away from the nerves of the clitoris. So there is nothing there that can really grow back. So in all of my time doing the surgery, I have never seen that happen. So patients can happily go back on their testosterone, continue taking it like before. There are other techniques described, such as a clitoropexy, which means lifting the clitoris. It's rare that I do those in my practice because like I said, by the time a patient meets me and comes for this procedure, usually the clitoris is significantly enlarged and the true procedure they need is a nerve sparing clitoris reduction. Um, but I hope this answers this question. We're accepting patients. Uh, we get patients from all over the world for this procedure. I'm located here in Miami, Florida. So head over to our website feel free to set up a consult. Usually we can get you in for um, a virtual or in-person consult within a week or two.